from the first alert weather team. All right, as we've been mentioning, the pattern getting a lot more active across southeastern North Carolina. And this is your severe weather risk for tomorrow. You can see marginal risk of severe weather across all of southeastern North Carolina. And probably even a bigger threat, really, than the severe weather threat is going to be the possibility of locally heavy downpours, maybe some localized flooding. We saw that with some of the uh, storms that we saw last week. It's kind of a similar environment here uh, across southeastern North Carolina. I think a lot of the area could be in line for several inches of rain between now and the weekend. A few isolated spots could see a little bit more. Now, now, in terms of the severe weather threat, most of the severe weather parameters still in the very low end of the scale, including tornadoes, large hail and flooding. But we do think there's at least a marginal risk that a few storms could contain some damaging winds. So probably localized flooding and a few storms with damaging winds, the biggest threat here as we head into your Thursday. Now, for the moment, there's not a lot going on in southeastern North Carolina. You can see a cell right here developing uh, in, uh, Ra in uh, Columbus County. Bigger storms you can see back here into Horry County, but we have been tracking some storms across Cumberland and now northern portions of Blue Layton County. You can see just to the east of White Oaks some heavier rain as you get up towards the Cumberland County line. Another little shower you can see right here with, a, with, a, with one lightning strike there in the vicinity of Tar Hill. So certainly some isolated or scattered storms possible over the next couple of hours and then things will probably settle down for much of the overnight hours and then really starting to pick up as we head into tomorrow. Scattered storms also popping up in other parts of the state. Western North Carolina. We're seeing some storms also firing up. You can see between Raleigh and Wilmington. Hour by hour forecast model showing things uh, staying kind of somewhat active here as we head towards midnight. Probably not the quite the intensity or the coverage of showers and storms here as we head towards midnight. And then pretty quiet for much of the overnight hours. We'll probably wake up with muggy conditions tomorrow morning, but here we go. You'll see some showers and storms beginning to fire up right here tomorrow afternoon, and especially as we head into tomorrow evening. Some of these storms could be quite heavy, again, producing the localized heavy rain, the potential of a little bit of severe weather. I still think we get up to about 91 tomorrow afternoon in Wilmington. The heat index could easily exceed 100. It's not going to rain all day by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, you saw from the model that we may very well see a pretty big dry window for the first part of tomorrow. And things getting active again here, as you can see in Friday. If anything, shower and thunderstorm threat a little bit higher as we head into your Friday. So 78 is the uh, low tonight, so another sticky night ahead. We're not getting a break on that front. 50% chance of showers and storms uh, ramping up a little bit, maybe more towards here as we head towards morning. And then for tomorrow, look for your high temperature to reach 91 degrees. Heat index near 100 degrees. The overall chance of a shower or storm about 60%. But as I said, there will be plenty of dry windows as well. And again, there you can see temperatures mostly in the upper 80s. In terms of the tropics, not much going on. I'm happy to report it looks like at least for the next seven days, nothing expected to develop in the tropical land. You can see a couple of lows here and there, but nothing that really stands out for development. So great news there. And so far for the hurricane season, of course, Beryl was a standout storm, a Category 5 hurricane. When we get another storm down the road, it will get the name of Debbie. Stock your hurricane survival kits if you haven't done so already. And the steam moving forward here. Not washouts, but good chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms with locally heavy rain on the plus side. High temperatures only in the upper 80s through early next week, but it will be muggy at night with lows still in the middle 70s. And we'll cross our fingers and hope for some good weather for sounds of summer uh, tomorrow uh, on Thursday afternoon.